All right, uh, so today I will be talking about bullying in schools. Um, I want to start off with a story. Um, it was a uh, freshman year in high school. Uh, I was, it was during lunchtime. I was sitting um, at this lunch table with two of my other friends that I you know, just met. It was like two weeks into school. And when I, something caught my attention when I was, uh, when I was eating. I looked up and like this senior, right? He was like, he was kind of tall, kind of big. He, he was running and I was like, in my head, I'm like, what? I don't know why he's running. <laughs> and so he runs and he passes this freshman that was also in my class and I, I kind of knew him, but I wasn't really like, like tight with him like that yet. And so he goes and he smacks his, his tray of food. And oh. in my mind, I'm like, damn, like he spent money on, you know, food, like that's money wasted. And that was actually the first time that I, that like bullying actually had impacted me. Cause in middle school, I mean, I really didn't see much bullying. I, I mean, I would see like, like name calling, but it was like back, back and forth. It wasn't like a, like, a, like somebody was victimized, but it was, it was like back and forth thing. And so that, that was kind of the, the first time that I, I like in bullying, like kind of like had an impact on me. So, <laughs> all right, so today, um, I'm gonna be talking about the problems uh, of bullying in schools. Uh, secondly, I'll be discussing the causes that bullying has, and then uh, lastly, I will talk about the implications and effects bullying, bullying has on uh, a student. So, bullying can, can go as early as even, um, can go as early as kindergarten and can carry out through high school. Um, but majority of the time it happens in, in, in middle school. And so according to an article, Bullying in Schools, a uh, police consultant and former director of public safety for the University of San Diego, uh, Reina Sampson, tells us that international research suggests that bullying occurs at all grade levels, although most frequently in middle school. So, you know, middle school is like what? You're 10 to like 13 years old? So like that's that's a pretty young age to 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 be bullied at to to have that influence on you that you know some somebody else is 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 attacking you for no reason just for the for the fun of it. Bullying has t uh, two key concepts. It's uh, uh, one of them is repeated harmful acts, and the other one is an imbalance of power. And what that means is mostly like. Um, Dominance. So it's 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 mainly one person having dominance over another that is either weaker or or like weak-minded, I guess. Yeah. So uh, yeah. So um, an example of that is um, if if let's say um, somebody comes up to you and is like, oh. Like give me your lunch money, and that person is much bigger, much stronger than you. You either have two choices: you either give them your lunch money, or you get your butt kicked. So that's um, that's a form of dominance and, and even intimidation. So now that I've talked about uh, the problems of bullying in schools, I will now talk about the, the causes that it has, that it uh, creates. So the first cause is fear. So uh, it's, it's usually uh, another person uh, inflicting fear into another student. You know, some, some, some students are terrified to go to school because they feel like they're gonna get teased at, they're gonna get picked at and on a daily basis. And according to, according to a website article by AmericansPCC.org titled, Building Statistics and Information, uh, it says that U.S. Secretary of Education Arnie Duncan states children cannot get a quality education if they don't feel safe at school. So what this is saying is that students rather miss school, miss on getting an education, and then in order to feel safe from uh, other students. And another cause could be that you know, sometimes the, the bully thinks it's 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 like a joke, like like just for fun, and you know they even do it sometimes to to please others, to, um, like other peers. So in order to make them like I guess more popular, more like improve their their social status within their their group. Uh, 
According to an article posted on January 28, 2013, is bullying cool? Middle schoolers think so. Freelance journalist uh, Sheila Eldred states it's the cool kids who are often the bullies. That's what the research discovered after surveying 1,895 7th and 8th graders in 11 Los Angeles middle, school, middle schools um, about which kids were considered the coolest and which ones started rumors and instigated fights. So, so now that I've talked about you know, the causes of bullying, I will now speak about the, the implications or effects that bullying has on an individual. So, I mean, we go to school to, to, to get educated, to, mo to, to move on with our lives, to, for a better future. And if bullying kind of like influences us to, or forces us to, to, to not go to school and risk our education, then that's, that's a pretty big uh, effect that it has on the person. So, according to an article by findapsychologist.com, about one out of 10 middle school kids drop out or change schools due to bullying. And like I said, it's crazy to think like how much influence that has on, uh, on a person and uh, the kind of impact it, it, it can create. And then depression. Depression, bullying can really lead to depression. It can make, you know, constantly having someone tease you, uh, put you down, like, have, like throwing negative, I guess, like comments at you. It, it can make you rethink things and, and make you think like, am I really like, like what they say I am? And like, am, like constantly telling you like your imperfections can can lead to depression. Even it, and it can even lead to um, to suicide, like suicidal thoughts. Uh, according to an article by AntiBullyingPro.com, published on April 7, 2015, ten percent of young people have attempted uh, to commit suicide as a result of bullying. So yeah, and um, to close it out, um, so firstly I spoke about the problem of bullying, and secondly I talked about the, the cause, and then lastly I talked about the implications or effects that it has. So to, clo to close out the story that I, that I, that I told, um, so after he got his, his, his food knocked down, right, like I went to go talk to him, being the kind of person that I am, I went to go. <laughs> so, but firstly, I waited for the bully to leave because I wasn't trying to get punked either. So I I went to him and I told him like, hey man, like don't don't let this like do like affect your your whole day. Like just like brush it off if you need to. Like you go speak to the dean or whatever. He's like, yeah, you're right. He's like, but I'm not. He's like, he told me I ain't no snitch. So uh, <laughs> he's like, he's like, so I'm just like let it by. He's like, he's like, what can you do at high school? It's it's expected. And so from there on, like we started talking, we became like really close friends, and even to this day, like we we talk constantly, like uh, like text, like on group message, we hang out. Like he currently goes to Northridge, and he's like he's he's he's, he's been good. And luckily, he wasn't affected by by bullying. And I'm not saying like I'm the reason that uh, you know I help him, <laughs> you know, but you know it's just uh, to be kind to others is, is goes a long way. Thank you.